Sean Morris here, STX, talking today about feeding. First things first has got to be proper hand technique, all right? When you have your hands on the shaft, right here actually on my 10 degree crankshaft, I actually have a piece of, looks like a piece of tape. That's really where we want to get our hands. We want to be able to fit a ruler in between, maybe even a little bit more. I mean, a ruler if you're shooting, and then go up another inch or so, and that's where you're going to have your proper hands. So first things first, you got to have proper hand technique. The second part of being a good feeder is now you have your hands in the proper spot, but how you use them. See a lot of guys throwing with their bottom hand, pushing the ball with their top hand, and not actually having good fundamentals with their wrists and that snapping motion. So we want to have our top hand, we want to be able to snap that top wrist to where we go. So the third step to being a good feeder is being able to have your feet in the right position, all right? So we have our hands right, we have our grip right, and now we gotta be able to turn our body and step to where we're going. All right, if you're throwing lefty, you don't step with your left foot and throw. So as I throw lefty, I step with my right and throw to my target. As I go righty, I step with my left and throw to my target. So now that we got all of our fundamentals down, the hardest thing for players to do is to throw the ball with their head up, all right? It seems very, very basic, but it's difficult to do because guys are coming out of their dodge looking just at the net or looking down trying to find their man and they're not looking and seeing the entire field. You got to be able to come out, get your hands in that right spot, be able to get through. So as you're doing this, you always want to be looking around and you want to have your head up and going forward the entire time. 